Okay, hello everybody. Fantastic to have you here. Welcome to Upstart 2018. Um, what a privilege to be standing here. Um, if anyone's in the bar area, you can sort of come on in. So we're about to kick off for the day. Um, as a quick intro, I'm Jason. I am the founder of Upstart. Um, and this is just such a cool job to stand here. Every year this crowd gets bigger and bigger. Bear in mind, this is a morning on a Saturday. So first of all, give yourselves a round of applause for getting up this early on a Saturday to come to a tech conference. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Um, so I'm going to just tell you a little bit about uh, Upstart, um, what uh, Upstart is, maybe a little bit about where it came from, uh, and also give you a few tips about to get, uh, how to get the most out of today, uh, and also some of the changes today. How many of you went to Upstart uh, last year or previous years? Quite a few of you. So you should notice a few changes today, uh, apart from the scale of the event, which I think is going to be quite noticeable, especially by the afternoon. Uh, it's completely sold out today. Um, there's a few changes to the format with venues and stuff I'll run through with you. So first things first, kind of let's uh, start five years ago. Um, we started Upstart. Uh, I sat in a little bar called Cataline, a little music venue. Do you, any of you know Cataline Bar in Uppsala? Uh, yeah, a cool little place. Uh, we brought together a bunch of entrepreneurs and investors and uh, 300 people showed up. Um, I think it's fair to say it grew. Uh, we're now are standing in a castle and other venues actually in Uppsala. Um, today we actually had a whopping uh, 1,300. It was over. It was actually, I think, uh, another 20 or so on top of that in the end, uh, registered tickets today. So that's been our biggest ever uh, audience. We actually had to stop uh, tickets, uh, as many of you know, because some of your friends and so on tried to get tickets, and we had to unfortunately say no, because we completely ran out this year. Um, we've never actually ran out in previous years. We've come very close, but this was a uh, complete maximum capacity. So um, this is really exciting, and as people are going to come in today, you're going to meet some really amazing and diverse people. Um, so this is the map. So this is actually live from Eventbrite um, a, a little bit earlier in the week. I took this screenshot. And you know, the first event, uh, we had people coming from mostly kind of a, uh, I feel a bit like a weatherman up here. We have a bit of sun coming from the east, rain in England. Um, there were, in this area around Uppsala, it was mostly just one kind of, uh, one kind of orange uh, dot. And now, as you can see, people are coming from Stockholm, obviously Uppsala very heavily, rest of Sweden, and actually quite a lot now internationally from the rest of the world. So, uh, and that's building up. There was the most ever hotel bookings this year as well. Um, so really this is kind of a step in the direction I want to take Upstart, which is to go more and more towards an international conference. Um, so very exciting and thank you for all who flew in today uh, to be here as well. So, you know, it's all in all, in summary, we've essentially become one of the largest conferences now in the country. Um, I think it's fair to say we're the largest free conference, still giving free tickets away. Um, so that's kind of cool. And, and thank you all for supporting this along the way from five years ago, from all these early people. Yuan was then, I don't know if you were sitting in the audience from the commune, who basically sat with me in that bar from the from Uppsala commune and said, yeah, we're going to do this. And for all you people along the way, all the volunteers today that have been helping out and everyone who's been spreading the word about this, so you've all basically played a really strong part in making this happen. So thank you. Um, this is an important link. Um, it's the agenda. Uh, there are no paper agendas today. We are a tech conference after all, so you've probably all got a phone in your pocket. Uh, use it and navigate to that website. It's not an app, it's a website, so it works on your phone, uh, and it will tell you everything that's happening today. Um, it's really important this year you do that because you're not going to be able to see everything uh, at start today uh, at the same time because things are happening simultaneously. That's kind of one of the changes that's uh, actually happening, and we have things happening on different stages. So I thought I'd run through a little bit um, about this. I've had a few questions already from people about like, what's happening on different stages. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Um, so we have the central stage. That's where I'm standing on now. So that's going to be basically uh, all your kind of uh, speakers coming from all over the world talking about the broader topic of technology startups. Um, we have some amazing people coming. Um, so this is kind of the main stage, I would say. Um, and then we have this kind of new concept um, where every year, so I send out a feedback form. Um, and many of you probably have received it. Um, I read every single line of those. So when you get that this year, do fill it out because it really affects how we build a conference year on year. Um, a common bit of feedback is, you know, I ask people, give me one thing about what you enjoyed about the conference and one thing you'd like to make better. Um, and it was really cool to see, many people often say in a positive front, that they really enjoy the, the vibe of the conference, that they meet lots of great people and a good atmosphere and so on, which is, which is great because that's something I, I spend a lot of energy trying to get right. Um, on the other hand, people say, what could you make better? And they often say, we would like to see more content about X. And X normally is um, whatever that person is most interested in. It could be biohacking, music, tech 
technology, could be uh, robotics in industry. Um, and so I gave that a lot of thought over the last year or two and um, came up with this new structure where we're going to have kind of like mini conferences across uh, Uppsala. So mostly around the surrounding area. So today we've got two new venues, the industry stage and scale up stage that are outside of the castle. So you need to go outside. And um, the scale up stage, you probably don't even need a jacket. It's just literally around the corner. Uh, for the industry stage, grab your jacket um, and head over to Humanistiska Theatre, which is just over the park. Um, and there's little, going to be little ribbons, uh, I believe blue ri ribbons. So follow the ribbons and it will lead you the way to the industry stage. And that's going to be basically all about the future of traditional industry. So we have Sandvik, we have GE, Tilvex Verkit, all talking on stage and some startups as well talking about how they're disrupting um, the future of industry, smart industry and industry 4.0. So robotics, VR, um, autonomous machines, um, AI, all this kind of stuff. Super interesting if you're into that kind of thing. And the scale-up stage, uh, again, similar concept. So this is going to be um, backed by the amazing people at uh, Stockholm City. We have Invest Stockholm, who've been working on an invite-only session in the morning. That's going to be for 10 CEOs to present to a whole, whole I think, 70-plus investors are here today at Upstart, um, a growth stage. But then the rest of the day, um, from the, I think, afternoon-ish onwards, is going to be completely open to everybody. And there's going to be panels and topics there. We've got Amazon on stage talking about how to scale culture, um, all around the topic of growth stage companies. So interesting to, if you're running a growth stage company, probably also quite relevant if you're a startup entrepreneur and looking to scale, you're going to hit these kind of challenges. So this is a really good stage for you. Uh, and then we have the deal room. So uh, wave over there, Jan and Jan and Erdal over there, are the deal room guys who've flown in from Finland today. Um, amazing concept. Um, this has been super successful. So we basically it's the first time we've tested this and um, a lot of people every year also tell me like, I've come to Upstart to meet uh, Zed and Zed is a uh, particular type of person it could be an investor it could be a customer it could be business partners people they want to hire uh, and that happens sort of organically of course through networking but it's good to have some structure around that as well so we've built this whole thing called deal room um, which is basically a way for you to book one-to-one -one meetings with anyone at the conference so everyone who signed up for a ticket should have seen they, they got an invite and um, we had over 300 uh, people at Activate their accounts, um, which is amazing for the first time we've done this. And we had, I think last time I checked, it was 160 plus meetings booked today. And the deal room is just there. So that's that big uh, room you see with the big door. Um, so if you haven't booked a meeting and you still want to go and meet someone today, go and see the guys there with the blue tops at deal room and they'll probably sort you out uh, on the spot and get you set up there. So then we've got the early stage. Uh, that was actually here last year in some shape or form. We've rebranded the event that we called Pitch Up last year to Elevate. And Elevate is a one-minute elevator pitching competition. It's, that's an invite-only event. and There's quite a lot of you. I think there's 100-plus people accessing that room. It's just at the top of the stairs. Um, however, there is a public finals of that competition. So if you're not into the room and you're not one of the, the lucky chosen ones, then you can come to this stage in the end of the day, uh, and there's going to be a finals where three startups are going to pitch, uh, and you all get to vote on who the winner's going to be with an app. So it's super fun. And actually, during the voting process, we're very last minute, we had a really cool um, sign-up from a, a performance or he calls himself an edutainer uh, called Jurgis. Uh, he's flying in from Lithuania, and I won't say too much about his performance because I won't spoil it for you, but you should stick around for that, so that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Uh, and then finally, the after party, sort of the famous slash infamous, I should say, after party um, that is getting bigger and bigger every year. We had over 900 people sign up to the after party this year. I'm not sure quite how we're going to cope, but we'll figure it out. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got Elite Hotel, and there's a connecting pub as well, Bishop Arms. We have our own private bar there for Upstart. You've probably seen some beer vouchers circulating today, so grab one of those. They're redeemable at the after party. Um, and also, we have this bizarre event called Startup Karaoke, which was my strange brainchild a few years ago, um, which could have either been totally awful or amazing, and it turned out to be amazing, and uh, just, I won't spoil that for you as well, if you haven't seen it yet, head down to the after party at 10 o'clock, we have basically as a tip, startups singing their uh, business ideas through the medium of karaoke song, so uh, yeah, not to miss. <laughs> um, so we have a hashtag, as uh, I guess you're familiar with, being techie people. Um, it's hashtag upstart. Um, use it heavily. So get out your phones now. Start taking photos. Photo each other. Photo everything. Uh, take videos. You can Snap. You can Instagram. You can Facebook. Whatever you cool kids do these days. Um, use hashtag upstart heavily. Um, you're actually going to win a prize if you submit the best hashtag. Uh, we're looking at all the social media channels. Um, 
And uh, the prize is going to be two free tickets to wander upstairs on the roof. It's called a tark wandering, which is Swedish, if you don't know Swedish, for a roof wandering, I think, or roof walk is a better description. Uh, and you're going to get to go with one other person upstairs and wander on the roof of Uppsala Castle. So pretty cool prize. And thank you to uh, Go Adventure. Um, is uh, Go Adventure in the room? Yet, maybe not, but thank you to those guys for providing the prize. You can check out that. If you want to buy a roof walk, you can go to goadventure.se and check that out. Um, so this is my one request of the evening, um, to have fun. And I always say this every year. I wanted to kind of just talk very briefly around the fun factor of Upstart, because when I started this five years ago, for me, fun was pretty much at the core of everything we did in that small venue of 300 people. And still today, it's very much at the core of every decision I make, whether it's which uh, speakers to have on stage, uh, whether it's uh, what exhibitions to have, whether it's to which kind of karaoke songs we pick. It's all with this kind of filter of, are people going to enjoy this, and is, is it going to be fun? Um, and for me, that's uh, it's, it's a fun point, but it's also quite a serious point, um, because uh, for me, personally, and I I spent you know, 15 plus years building events for startups and being a tech entrepreneur myself back in England when I was there running my own startups. Um, I sort of felt that most of the good things that ever happened to me in my career have been around uh, situations where I've been enjoying myself, I felt like myself, I felt relaxed. So for me, networking is in its best when you basically are enjoying yourself. And so that's why we basically have this incredible building, a 450-year-old castle. We have people chipping you downstairs with uh, uh, turning people into cyborgs. We have uh, you know, a bar. We have music. Um, and this is all really deliberate to kind of uh, open up an environment where people can connect uh, on a personal level. And I think that allows people to build more meaningful connections with each other as opposed to kind of networking as per se. Um, so I have a small challenge for you on that front. And uh, how many of you came today with somebody else that you already knew? I'm guessing quite a lot of you. Yeah, most of the audience, I would say. So for you people, uh, how many of you came alone today? Okay. Fair play, actually quite a few people. So first of all, well done for coming on your own. Uh, it's never easy. To myself, even I, I go to quite a lot of tech conferences and do these things a lot. I still find it kind of daunting, kind of networking. It's still nothing, it's not something that is ever really so easy to go up to a complete stranger. But my challenge for you is exactly that. So to break out, for well, those of you who came with someone today, break away from the crowd, say hey door to them, and walk and find someone completely new, and just tap them on the shoulder and say, what do you do? Nice to meet you. And uh, you'll be amazed. If you do that five, six times today, I think you'll be pretty amazed, especially if you're the kind of person that's maybe not used to doing that naturally. Um, you'll be kind of amazed what that leads to. And, and a second kind of segue to that challenge is when you do speak to that person, um, think a little bit about listening to that person in terms of how can I help you. Uh, and that's something, just as a little tip of mine, as, as someone, I'm often called kind of a super networker or someone with a big network, um, which you know I'm very flattered by. And I guess to some degree is tr true. I have a, a fair big startup network. Um, when I think about why that is, it's because probably for 15 plus years now, I've been um, mo mostly taking the strategy of how can I help you when I meet this person. And it seems a bit counterintuitive because you think as a, as a networking thing, it's all about telling that person what I do and giving them my business card. And, but if you do it the reverse way around, you kind of start to kind of give all this kind of um, karma to the universe. And after kind of uh, maybe uh, it can be weeks or months or it might even take a year, suddenly all that karma starts coming back. And you build this massive network of people that um, you've been helping. Uh, and, and that comes back in way, way more exponentially than just by telling someone something. So um, that was my little tip for today. Um, and uh, so everything considered, try and speak to as many people as you can, because that's what, that's what Upstart really is all about. It's about networking in the right kind of way. So uh, I'm going oh, to swap back to that side. So we have um, a very cool organization. Uh, let's see, it's supposed to be a video there. Can we maybe hit play on the video if there's uh, there we go. So this is an organization called Biohacks International. And they're going to be downstairs. Um, you will see them with a little table. Actually, sorry, they're in the bar just out here, not downstairs. Um, and they're going to be giving uh, chips to people. I don't know if anyone was here. Who was here with the upstart when I chipped Bjorn on stage? Does anyone remember that? There was a couple of people. Um, so Bjorn is my uh, good friend and, and colleague. He's the production man. Where's Bjorn today? He's maybe not in the room right now. But uh, Bjorn is the guy running around doing so much cool stuff for us. Uh, he's our production manager for today. I actually got Bjorn on stage as a guinea pig, and he did like a live chipping, and he got a chip put in his hand. And the kind of laugh was on me because he actually ended up getting on German television to millions of people because of that chip. So, um, but basically, these chips can let you get into like doors and you can pay for things, and it's kind of really cool. It's not for everybody. I'm not forcing you to go and uh, become a cyborg today. Um, but there's a 20% discount, and if you give your name and email to those guys, there's a lottery going to be announced at the end of the day for a free chipping um, for, for one person. So moving on, I just wanted to kind of thank some people really for today. Um, 
this event wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for all the partners and sponsors. Um, as you all probably noticed, the tickets to Upstart, the regular tickets are free of charge. That's kind of extremely rare for an event of this scale. Um, so, and this is all possible but because of people like Uppsala Communes. Uppsala Commune, um, we're actually going to be hearing from Charlotte Scott, the Nairings Leave uh, boss, um, and she's going to be talking on the early stage and scale-up stage for the invite-only sessions. Um, but as a general note about the Commune, I mean, they've supported Upstart from the very get-go. I mean, as I mentioned, Yuan Razen was my very first contact there. Um, you know, they really embraced this concept, even when we were kind of an unproven concept. And it's really because of them that this has become so big. So that makes me kind of proud uh, as well as an Uppsala citizen, um, to, to think that our commune really kind of understands this. They really see where, uh, how much talent is, you know, not just within the Uppsala region, but actually anymore, but how we can pull talent from all over the world to Uppsala in this kind of great uh, big day. So uh, well done to Uppsala commune for, for getting that and for, for helping us do this. Um, Stockholm uh, is now coming on board as well. Really cool that we're, we're pulling Stockholm to Uppsala instead of the other way around. That's uh, super cool. And they've come and actually really um, done a lot of good work with the scale-up stage this year. So uh, Jenny, Bertling, and Eric, I'm not sure if they're in the room yet in a moment, can't see them, um, but they're going to be on the scale-up stage mostly today. Um, go and say hello to them. They're going to be helping the startups at growth stage to meet investors internationally. And they'll do that um, not only in the invite-only session, but afterwards they have tons of programs. Like They have this thing called Hot List, um, that they can get you access to for free, and they'll actually promote your company at growth stage to lots of investors across the world. So um, go and say hello to Yenny and Eric from um, Invest Stockholm uh, as part of Stockholm City. Um, and thank you to them. Tilvex Verkit, you'll find them actually in the bar just next door. And Arash at the back there, if you wave, you can say hello. I can see Arash is there. Um, Arash and Björn are here today from Tilvex Verkit. Björn is actually going to be doing a talk on the industry stage um, around um, trends of 2018 in the smart industry uh, world. So um, check that out. That's going to be really interesting to see. Generally speaking, Tilvex Verkit do a lot of stuff to support startups in industry. And they're our official partner for the industry stage today. Um, but uh, also, Arash is going to actually talk a little bit just before before lunchtime about this thing called Startup um, Sweden. Um, and he's going to tell you a bit about some of their initiatives. So uh, check that out around just before lunch. Um, GE and Sandvik, you probably don't really need me to introduce those two names. They're quite big. Um, this is really, really cool to see these kind of massive industry players coming behind events and initiatives like this in the startup world. And that, for me, is kind of a very um, interesting point because it kind of shows how technology has really disrupted the world. I think that's kind of, kind of a, an obvious statement to make these days. But technology is touching you know, everything in traditional industry. And these organizations get this, and they, they want to work with startups like many of you here today. So um, do definitely go to the industry stage and check that out. Um, also, uh, I believe um, GE, um, they have, they wanted me to mention as well, so up the stairs, they have a little VR booth. It's a super cool demo. So if you want to check, uh, put on a VR headset and check out some of the stuff that v, uh, GE is doing, they have a booth also here in the castle. You basically go towards the early stage and just up the stairs. So uh, have some fun with that. And yeah, as I say, do walk over to the industry stage and check out all the stuff going on there if you're interested, because that's going to be really fun. Uh, World Class Uppsala, amazing organization that basically supports events in the Uppsala region, has been supporting Upstart for many years now um, as we've been growing. So thank you to those guys for, for doing your bit to help put Uppsala region on the map. Um, and uh, Amazon Web Services. Um, so we've um, got a talk from uh, Bijal today, who's going to be in the scale-up stage, and she's going to talk, that's for everyone to see, uh, about how to scale startups um, and how to keep your DNA when you, when you do that, how to keep your culture. Um, so uh, Amazon also kindly donated all of the 500 beer tickets today that's in circulation. So at the bar tonight, you can say thank you to AWS for that uh, as well. By the way, AWS also, apart from, I guess everyone knows AWS, but they do a cloud-based infrastructure for startups to launch, uh, launch uh, products on and, and startups and businesses on, which is probably one of the most popular cloud-based platforms out there. Um, they also work with incubators, uh, venture capitalists, um, co-working centers. So they actually, not a lot of people realize that side to AWS, but they do a lot of stuff there to actually um, work with partner organizations to actually help startups to grow. So um, go and find Bijal today. She's in the scale-up stage and say hello to her and she'll tell you a lot more. And that's it from me. Um, so um, again, I wanted to just thank everyone for coming. Um, do get uh, tweeting and taking photos again. Don't forget the hashtag. Uh, enjoy yourselves today and uh, have a great upstart. Thank you very much. <laughs>